Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Apple Pencil 1 and compare it against the Apple Pencil 2nd generation and see which particular Apple Pencil is the better one for you. Now almost every single way I could ever imagine it, the Apple Pencil 2 is going to be a much better device than the Apple Pencil 1. And if you're somebody who uses an Apple Pencil a lot, I would probably just argue that buying an Apple Pencil to support an iPad might be the better choice than buying the Apple Pencil 1 supported iPad. It's that big of a difference. If you're never using an Apple Pencil, then who cares? But there's some massive differences here and we'll talk about that throughout this whole entire video. But if you wanna go from the Apple Pencil 1 to the 2 or whatever, links will be down in the description where you can purchase them for the cheapest prices that I find. If you can get them from there, you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now starting off with the outside, the Apple Pencil 1 is this elongated Apple Pencil looking device. It's a good looking Apple Pencil. You know, you have the pencil tip at the end that is exchangeable. You can replace it and fix it if you want to. At the back side, you have that tip. So you can take off that tip if you want to, you can add it back. But the big thing here is that it is a lightning supported one. It is supported on the iPad 10th generation. So you can get that accessory to plug it in, plug it out, whatever, but it's still annoying and I don't really want to deal with that. You might as well go for the USB-C Apple Pencil. With the Apple Pencil 2, you're getting an Apple Pencil that basically has a flat side to it. So it's not completely rounded. It is rounded, but it's flat on one side. And you can plug in that one side of the Apple Pencil on the other side. And that really is all you're going to have to worry about. So from there, all you're going to have to do is plug in that side into that Apple Pencil. And then from there, you're pretty much good to go. From there, you can just use your Apple Pencil as you normally would. It's connected automatically. It's wireless. There's nothing you need to connect. And it is a much more seamless experience than the Apple Pencil 1, as you can probably imagine. Now, there's a lot of overlapping features here, too. So at the core, they allow you to write on your iPad, take notes. You know, it's a pretty basic system, as you can understand. But the differences here is that, one, they allow pixel perfect precision. There's low latency and there's tilt sensitivity between both. But pressure sensitivity is there and available on both, too. But it doesn't attach magnetically. So this is probably the more annoying process that I have to deal with constantly with my Apple Pencil 1 devices is that I have to go through, I have to like plug it in and I have to like plug it into the iPad. It is a very annoying thing. And this is by far one of the most annoying problems that I have within this particular device. So if I'm going through and using an iPad, this is something that's going to annoy me like crazy. And I wouldn't want to deal with it because it's just going to be an annoying process. Now, on top of that, you're going to have that capability of like double tapping to change tools. That's not available on the Apple Pencil 1. The Apple Pencil hover capability that you can hover over the Apple Pencil and get some sort of like, it's like going to get a preview of you before you actually push your iPad you know, to your pencil, Apple Pencil. That is not available on the Apple Pencil 1 either. So that is probably one of the bigger things to keep in mind. And if you want that free engraving option, that's not going to be available on the Apple Pencil 1, only available on the Apple Pencil 2. So those are at a high level, the main differences on paper. But I will tell you from my personal experience of using both these Apple Pencils, the Apple Pencil 1 is great if you're on a budget and you want to buy an iPad that has Apple Pencil 1 because those are tend to be cheaper. And the Apple Pencil 1 is cheaper in general. So if you're on a budget and you don't really care about plugging it in and out, then something like the Apple Pencil 1 is probably perfectly fine for the average person. But for somebody who can probably spend a little bit more money, or if you're not on as much of a constrained budget, and if you don't want to just plug it in all the time and have to worry about it, and also there's a higher chance you're gonna break your Apple Pencil because you can bend that Apple Pencil tip and it can break, you know, the charging tip. So that's another issue. You are much better off buying something like the Apple Pencil 2, getting an Apple Pencil 2 iPad, and then going from there. So that's my personal opinion. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.